Naqsha Jahan was commissioned by King Abbas Safavid in the 16th century AD, before Isfahan became the capital of Iran. The square replaced a smaller one which had remained from the Temuri era. In the Safavid era, the Naqsha Jahan Garden was one of the biggest polo fields in the world. Two marble walls played the role of goalposts. Facing the square is the Imam Mosque, and behind it, the entrance to the Kaiser Market. Sheikh Lotfala is a mosque on the eastern side of the square, patient, calm, and facing the sun. A mixture of stillness and motion, colorful yet without color, in between the sky and the ground, the only mosque in Iran without a courtyard or minaret. Other ancient mosques usually have big courtyards and a minaret or more. Sheikh Lutfala Mosque also has a dome different from others. It's not a big mosque like other mosques. In fact, it has a relatively small prayer room. But the beauty and magnificence of the prayer room is enough for you to get lost in. This mosque is the only one which has stairs right at its door front. King Abbas I had the mosque built in honor of Sheikh Lotfala Jabal Ameli, the Shia clerk who traveled to Iran from Lebanon. It was built for his and his family's prayer services. The mosque's walls, walls with such delicate designs, carry a very heavy dome. There was no choice but to build them so strong and thick, some as thick as two meters. The interior of the dome is designed with stars, colored in gold. Stars that somehow remind you of ivies. The light inside the mosque is astounding. Around the width of the dome, in equal distances, there are holes which have been blocked by windows from both inside and outside. The light that comes through these walls gives the design a magical, almost holy look. When the sun shines into the mosque, the shape of peacock's feathers form on the roof. In the day, the peacock's feathers are spread out, and near the evening, they come together. By controlling the light, the building's architect has been able to attract our attention to every angle of the mosque. One of the things people in Isfahan, and also tourists, do to entertain themselves is riding in carriages around Naqsha Jahan. The carriages are reminders of what up to 50 years ago used to be one of the main means of transportation for the people, but is now only part of a distant memory. During the reign of King Abbas the Great, a small square, which is now part of Naqsha Jahan, was expanded to its current size. Famous historic buildings such as the King's Mosque and Sheikh Lotfala's Mosque, the Ali Ghapu Palace and the Gaysari Gate were built around the square. Many world travelers and tourists believe that Naqsha Jahan is one of the largest squares in the world. Shardan writes of Naqsha Jahan, There are 200 rooms around the square, all the same size and the same style. The rooms on the lower levels each consist of two shops, one facing the square and the other facing the market. The rooms on the upper levels have a terrace facing the square. I think Nasha Jahan is the most beautiful square in Iran.
in the northern section of the square, there sits an entrance portal with tile work. The entrance portal to the Gay Sarie Market. The portal was commissioned by King Abbas and designed on a similar one in the Far East. 